is candy. We got the Eagles. We got the Falcons. We're in Philly for the game. We're going to share our pre-game thoughts. First of all, let's start with how we're feeling before the game. Dylan, how you feeling? I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. The Philadelphia Eagles are a really good team. They look solid in week one. So I'm optimistic that we'll look better than we did in week one. But I'm nervous because I think Philly's going to look better than they did too. I'm excited. I'm also nervous. Y'all know me. Any game day, I'm nervous. Obviously, A.J. Brown is ruled out. So that's big. We're going to need Jalen Hurts to take care of the ball. Kellen Moore is going to have to be good with the play calling. Jahan Dotson is going to have to step up and be a star already week two. Kenny Gainwell, we need you to step up as well. All right. What are you looking forward to? Overall, I'm just looking forward to seeing this team in action, live in person. It's my first time, obviously, would it be in week two, seeing the team live. And I haven't been to a Falcons game in a few years because I usually work the Falcons games. But anywho, I'm looking forward to that overall. And I'm also looking forward to just hopefully seeing this offense operate a lot better. I'm looking forward to the defense stepping up. Not saying that the offense won't be able to carry the load, but we are missing a huge piece, literally and figuratively, in A.J. Brown. So I'm looking for the defense to Keep that same energy we had late in the game against the Packers. Start fast, start early. We got to get pressure on Kirk Cousins to win this game. Overall, key to the game for the Falcons. Key to the game is they're going to have to score points on offense. Yeah. Last week, they only got one touchdown in the field goal. Ten points is not going to cut it against the Eagles. They cut against the Steelers. It's definitely not going to cut it against the Eagles, even with A.J. Brown out. Saquon, Devontae Smith, Jahan Dawson, Jalen Hurts, Dallas Goddard is still – a potent offense we gotta score points we can't expect the defense to hold them to just 18. my key is taking care of the ball we cannot have those same turnovers that we had in week one i know the falcons had a funky game week one but this is not a team that we can sleep on if kirk cousins plays 25 percent better than he did week one we can't sleep on the falcons they have a lot of weapons on their offense we cannot keep giving them opportunities because we're turning the ball over our drives have to result in points all right final score prediction ah, you go first all right i'm gonna predict 31 28 falcons baby i'm gonna say I'm going to say 20, this is not, okay, let me not even say that because it's going to be shady if I use that number. <laughs> I'm going to say 24, okay, I'm going to say 28, that's not me being shady with that number. I'm going to say 28, maybe 17, Eagles.